Thank you for watching this quick overview video of how to perform XPS analysis of homogeneous and non homogeneous materials on the Phi VersaProbe 3. The first example is a homogeneous film of PMMA. A photo was taken of the sample holder in the intro chamber, and this photo is calibrated to the X ray beam position. Therefore, I can simply click a location on the photo to set my analysis position. You can create customized analysis recipes and save those for later use. Here, I am loading a saved recipe for a survey scan using a large area x-ray beam. Additional setup options are available with a button click, such as dual beam charge compensation for insulating materials, auto stage height alignment for maximum sensitivity, and automated SXI imaging, which can be used to confirm the homogeneity of the analysis area. After selecting our options, the acquisition is started. The dual beam charge neutralizers turn on, and then the Z-align process begins. The stage is moved in the Z direction, and signal intensity is monitored. The stage Z position that provides highest intensity will be used for the analysis. This ensures that samples of different thicknesses will always be at the proper analytical height. Next, the scanning X-ray induced secondary electron image, or SXI, is collected. In this mode, a small diameter X-ray beam is rastered across the sample surface, and an image is collected from secondary electrons emitted from the surface, similar to an SEM. This is a unique and very helpful feature of the VersaProbe 3. Contrast in the SXI can be related to areas with different chemical composition, and so it provides a fast way to identify areas of interest. For this sample, there are no features observed in the analysis area, suggesting it is homogeneous as expected. If the SXI showed high contrast areas, then it is possible large area XPS analysis may include unexpected features or contaminants that could affect your results. Samples that are assumed to be homogeneous often show localized contaminants from handling or processing. Once the SXI is complete, the survey will begin. While the scan is running, tools such as Peak ID can be used to identify the spectrum features. PMMA is a polymer consisting of carbon and oxygen, and that is what we see with Peak ID. The Peak labels can be used to automatically set up high resolution scans for chemical state analysis. Next, the high resolution scans of carbon and oxygen are collected, and we see that the spectral shapes consist of multiple overlapping peaks that can be used to identify and quantify chemical states in the sample. For the next analysis example, we have a non homogeneous material, which could be a powder a pattern sample, or anything that might have surface defects or localized contamination. Rather than using the photo to define our analysis location, we will use SXI imaging. Multiple analysis locations can be chosen by clicking directly on the SXI. In this case, I will analyze on and off of the dark spot using a 30 micron diameter X-ray beam. This multipoint survey shows that both locations contain oxygen, but the blue spectrum, which is away from the dark spot, has a larger peak, suggesting a higher oxygen concentration. Looking at the carbon peak, the red spectrum, which is from the dark spot, shows higher intensity. This suggests that the dark spot may be a localized organic contaminant. Thank you for watching this video to see how easy it is to perform an XPS analysis on the VersaProbe 3.
please visit phi.com for more information.